Reading 1, 2 Kings, chapter 5, verses 14 through 17. Then he went down and washed in the Jordan seven times, according to the word of the man of God, and his flesh was restored like the flesh of a little child, and he was made clean. And returning to the man of God with all his train, he came and stood before him and said, In truth I know there is no other God in all the earth, but only in Israel. I beseech thee therefore take a blessing of thy servant. But he answered, As the Lord liveth before whom I stand, I will receive none. And when he pressed him, he still refused. And Naaman said, As thou wilt, but I beseech thee, grant to me thy servant to take from hence two mules' burden of earth, for thy servant will not henceforth offer holocaust or victim to other gods, but to the Lord. Psalm 98, verses 1 through 4. A psalm for David himself. The Lord hath reigned, let the people be angry. He that sitteth on the cherubims, let the earth be moved. The Lord is great in Zion and high above all people. Let them give praise to thy great name, for it is terrible and holy, and the king's honor loveth judgment. Thou hast prepared directions, thou hast done judgment and justice in Jacob. Reading 2, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 8 through 13. Be mindful that the Lord Jesus Christ is risen again from the dead of the seed of David, according to my gospel, wherein I labor even unto bands, as an evildoer, but the word of God is not bound. Therefore I endure all things for the sake of the elect, that they also may obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with heavenly glory. A faithful saying, For if we be dead with him, we shall live also with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we believe not, he continueth faithful, he cannot deny himself. The Gospel of our Lord, Luke chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. And it came to pass, as he was going to Jerusalem, he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain town, there met him ten men that were lepers who stood afar off, and lifted up their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us, whom when he saw he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. And it came to pass, as they went, they were made clean. And one of them, when he saw that he was made clean, went back with a loud voice glorifying God, and he fell on his face before his feet, giving thanks. And this was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were not ten made clean? And where are the nine? There is no one found to return and give glory to God but this stranger. And he said to him, Arise, go thy way, for thy faith hath made thee whole. Thank you.